Hi there, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Siobhan. On this channel, I share videos about a dynamic and expressive approach to figure drawing. I focus on techniques such as gesture drawing and contour drawing as ways that you can improve your figure drawing and develop your own unique style of drawing. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can build a sense of rhythm in your drawings in order to make your work feel more dynamic and more expressive. I'm going to share a process video of a drawing that I did and talk about how you can do one thing that will make your work feel like it has a sense of rhythm, a sense of movement and a sense of life. Because figure drawing isn't always just about the detail, the proportion and the anatomy. It's also about capturing that sense of life that you see in your subject. So here's the video. I'll explain what this one thing is that you can do and I'll check back in with you at the end. As usual, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the exact pose that I'm drawing from for this video. So you can check that out if you want and follow along with me. But today I wanted to talk to you about rhythm in your drawing. Generally speaking, rhythm in art is usually defined as a design principle, meaning that, you know, the repetition of lines or colors or elements are organized in such a way as to give a sense of harmony and that's what's called the rhythm in a piece. An example in drawing might be the way, you know, uh, curved lines are repeated throughout a composition or directional lines are repeated. Uh, these, as I say, are thought of as the rhythm. But personally, when it comes to figure drawing anyway, I tend to think of rhythm not as a, as a strict design principle, to be honest. For me, rhythm in figure drawing is much more like of an instant response to a feeling or a sense that's based on observation. So for me, it's not about organizing elements to make a composition feel harmonious, even though that can happen. But I think when you're drawing from life anyway, and you're drawing with a focus on a dynamic and responsive way of drawing, it's more about your visual response that gets triggered by the rhythm you see in the forms. If a model is twisting, or turning, you can actually see points of balance and tension throughout the figure that are obvious points of rhythm, much like the beats in a song. And that's how I see it anyway. Like I think a model's pose can be very like music, very emotional. So to keep that analogy going, music is a repetition of notes, but crucially, it's not the repetition of the same note throughout. So all of that is to say that if you want to develop a natural emotional rhythm in your drawing, then the one thing that you can do is focus on the quality of your line and make sure that your line isn't the same note throughout your whole drawing. If you approach drawing the figure with the same note, it's generally going to result in a final drawing that is just one note. And then that drawing will seem flat. It'll seem like it lacks life. And then you'll be left wondering why, especially if you've done everything else right. If you've captured the angle of the pose, you've got the exact proportion, you know, you've drawn the anatomy completely correct. Why after all of that, does the drawing seem to lack life? The answer is that it comes down to line quality. Whatever you're drawing with, whether it's a charcoal or a pencil or a pen, that can be as versatile as you want it to be. On a very basic level, you can make your line be light or dark. You can make it look like it's moving away from us or coming towards us on the page. 
It's so simple, but this is what's going to help you bring rhythm into your drawing. So simple drawing practices like gesture drawing and contour drawing will ensure that you can change up your line quality the moment you see a twist or a turn in the forms. They will help you to control exactly how you express on the page the emotion or the sense that you see in the model. As I said, all too often, you know, we tend to draw the figure with just one kind of mark or one line throughout. I think the reason that we do this is because drawing the figure is overwhelming. <laughs> There's so much visual information to try and include. So people try to get all of the details down and they wind up treating them all with the same level of attention and therefore the same mark or the same note. So I just want to really encourage you to experiment with your line work and try to change up your line as you draw in order to bring that sense of rhythm into your work. Not only does your line quality lead to a drawing that feels more dynamic and expressive, but it also helps you to connect to your subject more because you're starting to draw with your feeling and your response and not just relying on making a flat image or a design of the figure. You can start with something as simple as, you know, making a darker mark or making a lighter mark and varying that up wherever you feel or wherever you think the emphasis needs to be in your drawing. That all depends on you and the way you consider the pose and the way you want to express that onto the page. So that's my tip for today is experiment with your line and try to make your line work be the rhythm in your drawing. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some useful information out of it and some inspiration for your own drawing practice. Please let me know in the comments if you found this useful. I'd love to hear from you and give the video a like if you think it's worthwhile and definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos about expressive dynamic figure drawing. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.